Hello there, welcome back to the video. In this video, we are going to see how we can calculate month over month change in Power BI using DAX. So here I'm having the table. In this table, what I'm having is the year and the month and in and here I'm having the distinct order count. The count of orders which has been made in every month. Uh, let's first understand the problem. So what you want to calculate? Month over month change, month on month change. So I want to compare the current month count order count with the previous month order count in terms of percentage change. So for he, for that, what I would require is I will I would require a new column wherein I will have the previous month sales for the existing month. For example, for Feb, I should it should display me 128. For March, it should uh, display 100. For April, it should display 126 in the same line. Okay. So we will create a measure for that first. So let's create a measure for the previous month sales. I will name it as previous month. Not sales. It would be order. Calculate. Distinct count of order IDs. Date add. I'm using this function to get the previous month's sales. Column there would be order. Order date. date. The interval number of intervals will be minus one. So I have to go one step back. And the interval would be month. I would to go one month back. So this is how the formula works. I will hit on enter. The measure has been created. Previous month order. Let put me let me put this in the table. Previous previous month orders. So here I'm getting the orders which has been done in the previous month. So now what we want using both these columns, we will create a new measure which would give us the month over month percentage change. So here I'm getting the current for current Feb, I'm getting 100 orders, but for previous month it was 128. So we can see that it has been declined. For March, it was 128, but for previous, it was 100. So there is an increase in the orders. For April, it was 120. And for the previous month, it was 126. Again, there is a decrease in the order. So let's create the MOM change. Let's create a new measure. I will name it as MOM. Percentage change. So, I will use divide. You might be familiar how to calculate the percentage change month on month. So, the numerator would be distinct count of order ID order ID minus the measure which we has created previous file US month order so this would be our numerator let's let put this in bracket and denominator would be previous month orders so thus we will get the percentage change So let's put it here in the values so we are getting the mom change let me convert it into percentage okay so here we are getting the mom percentage change the month on month change in the percentage so 
So let's check for June. The current sale was one zero two, but the previous sale was one one three. So you can see that there is a decline in the number of uh, orders, not sales. Sorry. So here it's showing minus nine percent. For July it was one twenty one, but for previous month it was one zero two. So there is an increase in the number of orders, and it has increased by eighteen percent. So this is how we create the month on month percentage change for the orders which has been generated. And what approach we have used is we have created a simple measure to just calculate the previous month orders, and using that measure we have created the formula to calculate the month on month change by using this formula. So I hope you have got a clear understanding of how to calculate the month on month change. Thank you very much for watching the video.